Hello Aries, this is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss with your March 2021 mini tarot reading. Happy St. Patty's Day for beginnings. <laughs> Let's see if we can't have some of that luck with us this month. So overdue for so many. So let's see what's coming up for Aries this month. Woohoo! I hope things are good at your house. Let's put our little four leaf clover over here. See what we've got. Here we go. Whoop. Come on, fingers. <clears throat> wow, it looks like blessings okay abundance i feel like there's you know it's so overdue for so many it just seems like um something you're wanting maybe maybe you're back to work maybe work has been busy something about abundance okay and abundance most people and myself we all seem to go to money first i feel it's that but i think it's more than that too it's like uh Finding your niche or feeling like um, you're helping or feeling like you make a difference. That's that's what I want to say because you everybody makes a difference. But this month, a lot of you are going to feel like you really made a difference. And that's nothing better than feeling really happy with what you're doing, confident. And then to be appreciated on top of it. Woohoo! That is pretty cool. Is that for everyone? I sure hope it is. It says your wants, wishes, and daydreams have been put away for months and months and months for some of you. Just take them out now. Now is a good time. Here in the States, it's going to be spring this month. Oh, I'm so excited about that. Um, but I just feel like some of the things you've wanted, now is the time. They're just going to seem to be, you know, make progress. You're wanting a new job? Spend so much time a day looking for a new job. If you want peace, find things that make you peaceful. You know, uh, go for a walk, meditate, do whatever you need to. But it just seems like a lot of things that you've been wanting are available right now. Also, I do have the pregnancy card, so if, <laughs> if you're not wanting to be pregnant, uh, heads up. Um, you know, do what you need to. Um, also, improvement in a relationship. Okay, but I feel this is for people that are single. Well, you know, as crazy as, as the world's been for a year of not being, you know, uh, with other people or normal things that we used to do. This could be a month where you meet somebody. How you do it, I have no idea. But it just says be open to. If you're single and you're, you know, wanting a relationship, just be open to the possibility. You never know what could happen in that area. It says you're going to be hearing from someone from the past, okay? And they've had terrible, terrible, terrible things going on. And you know, you can't just. It, not that you shouldn't be compassionate, because we all should, and we care what happens to others. But it's real important that I tell you this here. So please pay attention uh, to those of you that will be hearing from someone. You can't fix what's going on here, okay? And money isn't going to fix it. I feel someone's going to be asking you for maybe even a large sum of money if you can give it do so but i just have a feeling like you know if you can't afford to they're going to have good intentions you know of paying you back or doing a favor for you or something but it just isn't going to work that way and that's not for everybody but just you know if someone from the past shows up you know be compassionate for them or if you hear from someone from the past because so many people have had so many hardships and there's nothing um, not, not a better feeling in the world of helping people and that goes back to over here I think that's why I think they brought up about work is this feeling of work and stuff rather than this person from the past and not that you shouldn't help just be wary be careful that you don't get um, hurt or used yourself it says alms dispense with justice again is this the <laughs> if you can afford to give it not to borrow it to give it give it if you can't it's okay not to because you have to take care of yourself and your family first a lot of lessons learned over the last five, six months for you, um, which is going to make you a stronger person. Your intuition is good. Um, and, a, a, and it says counsel could be needed. But counsel could be a lawyer, it could be a therapist, it can even be two friends talking. So if you have an idea of something you want to do, share it with somebody maybe uh, that's close to you. I almost feel like um, you have an idea either for a business or making a better mouse trap. It's not a mouse trap, but you for an invention, improvement on an invention. If that's the case, you kind of want to keep that to yourself until you have all your ducks in a row for that. That says this month you are going to feel so much better uh, emotionally, spiritually, and so overdue. Hallelujah. Good kudos to you. It says, and remember, the spirit help still is around you, and they heard you before. 
um, and, and things are slowly for some getting back in order or back, back in uh, place. And it says, remember when you stand up, Aries, and I know some of you have a, <laughs> have a fiery uh, attitude, but things are going to get better. So be careful with your words this month. And um, if you have an argument, be especially careful with your words. That's thank you. And it says, remember who you are. You are someone that does achieve greatness. Over the next three weeks, things are going to seem to be like better. You know, a little bit at a time. You're going to wake up and feel better. There's a lot of less doom and gloom thoughts, it appears, for a lot of you. Um, but, and I, that just makes my heart happy for you because there's something in the works already. Um, if you're wanting to have a new job, I think there's a possibility for that. If you want to get called back to work, remember this though, over the last year, work ways have changed for many, many people. Look at even for the shopping. When you go shopping, it's if you can, it's very different. So let's all be open to uh, change that's on the way, making things work for us or not making things work for us. Work with what we have is a better way to say that. Like you have for the last, you know, 10, 11 months. You are a pioneer, Aries. If anyone's going to come up with a good idea for something, it's probably going to be an Aries. Um, and it says, if you do have that idea, I just want to say it one more time, uh, especially for improving some invention or an invention in general. Get your stuff in order so it's protected so no one snatches it from you. Um, hmm. Being able to stand up for yourself in a real positive way. Whatever's happened over the last few months, like three or four months, has given you um, the, uh, I don't know, a creative way, I guess, would be a way to put it, to stand up for yourself um, without um, being forceful, but yet not being taken advantage of. So it's this is a good thing. I feel there's going to be things to celebrate for you. Uh, even small celebrations are going to be welcome now, and maybe there's many of those, but I just feel like by the end of this month, you're going to say, gosh, this was a good month. I'm so... I feel so much better. Maybe you're sleeping better. Maybe you're eating better. Even the social possibility of being with friends and family again is going to be really good uh, for a lot of you. In the work area, monetary, um, I, I don't know if you get a raise or you get called back to work, but it's going to be an improvement in your income for a lot of you. And that is just awesome. Uh, before signing any contracts, make sure you know what you're signing for. That's for work or if you're buying a house, it just says paperwork, paperwork, look it over. And if you don't understand it, don't sign it. Make sure you um, get someone to interpret it, a lawyer or something like that, because you're going to be making some official decisions. Not that you wouldn't uh, want to sign it, but make sure it, it's what you're, what you really are um, thinking you're signing. You know, sometimes we get in a hurry, buy a house, sign it, and then find out, oh my gosh, the roof is leaking. I'm not saying that's going to happen, but it just says take your time and again, make it about you. But this is going to be a month of new beginnings. But Yahoo, uh, Aries. This is Bonnie from Soul Star Bliss. I so appreciate you dropping by to see me, and I'll see you again next month.